Excuse me, little dog. Alright, guys. I don't know when I'm ever going to learn. I have, I have no idea how much of this rant uh, and what parts of it were just overheard by my... Uh, <laughs> Oh, God, by my guest. I was out doing this on the screen porch and uh, is ranting away. And I was about, uh, good Lord, 15 minutes into this rant when I hear this voice out of the darkness. Hi, Sam. Oh, God. I I anyway, I, I, I can only imagine the... Uh... What? what? When will I ever learn? But anyway, maybe the second time will be a charm. I, I wanted some lighting in here, but this thing is th this thing is truly obnoxious. Oh, uh, anyway. So uh, let me start this again after now that my heartbeat has. Uh, oh God! How, how do I get myself into this mess? Anyway. It is another Saturday night. It is now the ex the exciting Saturday night of uh, September seventh, twenty twenty four, and I am me and the little dog are wrapped up in our Humpty Dumpty Tribe T-shirt and, and flannel bathrobe and our Uggs on on this cold fall night on September seventh. So it is now. I will be turning 65. I will officially be uh, a decrepit old fart. Uh, by anyone's definition, two weeks from tomorrow, on Sunday, September 22nd. So, I guess I have three Saturday nights, Saturday nights uh, left in middle age. Exciting Saturday nights. Good God. Uh, and here I am, sitting alone, drinking alone, well, sitting here with my little dog, yes, with my thumb up my ass, uh, <laughs> just uh, on, on my usual Saturday night, uh, Doomer Lonely Heart Wine. And, uh, so speaking uh, uh, of these guys who just interrupted me, to, uh, I guess I will start out this rant this way. So these guys, cute young couple, probably in their mid twenties, uh, they are here um, uh, for their first wedding anniversary at at Bugs in a Jar Farm. They are celebrating one year of wedded bliss, domestic wedded bliss, as husband and wife, right here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I said, I hope we can make this an annual tradition, so starting their new lives, good God, celebrating one year of being being married, and uh, I'm not about to ask them uh, if they're thinking about breeding or not, obviously. So, this rant actually, uh, a, a lot of it occurred last night. So, what happened? So, I, I get the little lovebirds settled into their anniversary uh, tiny house last night on Friday night. Come down here, uh, settle in at about eight o'clock. You know, pour myself uh, the first of two strift drinks. Settle in, and I and I open up my email, and there's this email from Green Singles. The, this little, you, you know, this little limp dick lefty uh, dating site that I joined. You know, kind kind of as a joke, so I could do a rant on it. Green Singles. I've done, I've done a, a couple of rant, rants on this. Obviously, I have never met a woman on green singles ever in my life. Never have, never will. Uh, but somehow, 
I'm still on their uh, their email list. So Green Singles uh, has a their own YouTube channel, and uh, so they were you know highlighting some of their new videos. So what they do is you know every time two of these little limp dick lefty greenies find their soulmate uh, on uh, Green Singles, they they you know they interview them about how they met and fell in love and all this shit and so i go on there guys and i click on about three of these and and watch them you know just long enough till the vomit is rising uh, in in my throat as they you know they interview the the happy couple well, which one of you, uh, who answered whose ad, and you know the usual fucking script, and, and all, all of these little uh, soulmate, twin flame, love bird, limp dick lefties, and, and, and I make it through about ten minutes of three of those, and I, uh, and then you know over on the right side. <clears throat> You know, that they have these recommended for you, kind of like, well, if you like this video, maybe you'll like this one. Well, it was 8.30 uh, last night, and so, you know, my little uh, imaginary friends on YouTube were coming on, you know, Sandy's show is coming on at 9 o'clock, so I couldn't stomach any more of the green singles. So I go on... And I noticed this video, which is about 30 minutes long, and I needed to kill 30 minutes. And uh, it was called, Why I Live the Simple Life. Why I Live the Simple Life. Now, I, I didn't have any idea if, if this was a male, female, a 20-year-old, an 80-year-old. You, you know what I'm saying. And uh, so I said, what the fuck, since I live the simple life, I click on this video, and, and what it is, uh, good lord, I don't, I, I don't remember the name of the YouTube channel or whatever, uh, what it is, is this drop dead gorgeous little hottie, this little, uh, you know, Scandinavian, uh, blonde-haired, blue-eyed. Uh, she she looked like a fucking OnlyFans model. Uh, you know, she probably is an OnlyFans model, for all I know. So anyway, her shtick, and she has like nine hundred thousand views on this, uh, on 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 this video. So what she is claiming, so I'm looking at this woman, and I'm trying to think, darling, how old are you? And uh, I'm guessing she's in her late 20s, 30 years old, at the, at the oldest. And so the, the, the shtick she's saying is, is how she's some sort of Scandinavian, one of those Scandinavian countries, I think it might have been Finland, and uh, she's... Uh, she so, so the the story she tells is you know that she grew up and she was a city girl, uh, whatever growing up in whatever city is over there in one of those Scandinavian countries, you, you know how she was just her normal city girl, uh, you know she went to college, graduated from college, got her little nine to five job and shit like this and started that that grind and she realized very early in life that this shit is not for me and if you're to believe this girl at I, I, I don't know what age I'm guessing well she just says she just put in a, my guess is at around 25 she never mentions what age but she's graduated from college she's worked a couple of years realize the working life isn't for her and so she claims that she moves out to this little cabin in, in, in the middle of fucking nowhere 
out there in, uh, where do the damn reindeer run around? I think it's called Lapland. You know where I'm talking about, where the fucking reindeer run around. It used to be a bunch of Eskimos living out there. So she's acting like she's moving to a fucking igloo. And, and of course, her cabin is about, you know, the size of, of all three of my, uh, all three of my cabins built together. It never says where she gets the fucking money to do this. And... It implies this cabin is is out completely out in the you know out in the fucking wilderness. My guess is, it's probably about as out in the boonies as Bugs in a Jar Farm. Okay, but then of course Bugs in a Jar Farm is out of the boonies. I'm out in the fucking middle of fucking nowhere. So I'm guessing she's probably about as in the middle of fucking nowhere as I am. So she starts this, and, and she leads you to believe she has these videos, although it never shows who's filming the video, of her doing all of this shit by herself. You know, this little hot, uh, this little hottie out there, you know, fucking shoveling the snow uh, out of her driveway, out there chopping wood and starting the fire. All of this, all of this fucking... Uh, happy horseshit, and, 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 and so you just are led to believe that she's out there living all alone in the middle of fucking nowhere, uh, and, and, and I'm, and, you know, I'm reaching for the bullshit detected button, and, uh, and so the first 15 or 20 minutes of this 30 minute video You, you think she's up there all alone, and then she goes from there into this scene where she's hanging out with uh, this group of friends. And, uh, you know, she's, she, she's talking about, you know, all of the friends that she's making uh, out, out here in the middle of fucking nowhere, and, and I'm going, what, what, what the fuck? And then, of course, you know what happens. We, we go right in to this fucking Walt Disney uh, little uh, prepubescent uh, chick flick uh, where, where out in the middle of nowhere, she meets this guy. It... It, 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 you have, it, it's not like the green singles thing. Uh, you have no idea how she met this fucker. I'm assuming she met him on a dating app. Maybe she met him on green singles. And then the, you know, and so there's about 10 minutes of it. So then they fall and she goes, who would have thought, who would have thought I ever would have met my soulmate, the man of my dreams, out here in the middle of fucking nowhere and, and, and all of this, and, 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 and they show the pictures of them kissing and shit, and, and, and then before you know it, uh, they, they're fucking married, and, and, and they're buying a, a, a fucking house together, and, 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 and all of it, this, this, like, where the fuck did, did all of this come from? And, uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the takeaway from it all, uh, about uh, all of this living alone uh, out in the middle of nowhere in a, in a fucking cabin, uh, she says, and I think this is a direct quote, is that, uh, you know, she learned pretty fucking quick. When she moved out into the middle of nowhere, nobody can make it alone. Nobody can make it alone, is what she was telling me. And who would have thought, you know, she figures out no one can make it alone. And, and the next thing you know, here is fucking Prince Charming showing up out of fucking nowhere, sweeping her off her feet, and, 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 and good fucking God, I, 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 I mean, I, I, I was this fucking far 
from projectile vomiting and, and you know like uh who would have ever believed that I would have met my, you know, and I, I'm saying, look at, look at you, girl, you look like a fucking, uh, a fucking Pornhub actress, you know, uh, some uh, little hottie like you, uh, good God, uh, do you think uh, that, that you're going to sit there uh, trying to make it alone, uh, every fucking male reindeer, uh, within a 50 mile radius of that girl probably had a fucking heart on. I, I, I guarantee you, guarantee you that every single man within, uh, within 20 miles, uh, uh, of that, uh, of that girl had a fucking heart on. Uh, uh, for, for, for that girl, uh, y y you know, uh, this little 28 year old hottie, uh, wondering how the fuck, uh, she ever found her soulmate. Look in the mirror, girl. Jesus Christ. And, uh, so anyway, I'd, I'd had enough of that fucking bullshit. And then, uh, I get up today, as I do every morning, and, and I go on to medium.com. Well, some, for some reason, guys, it, it, you know, I get all of this doomer shit on medium.com, but for some reason, I think it was because of my, uh, uh, of my uh, medium.com essay that I wrote in praise of naked women. In praise of naked women uh, that I think I've read on this channel uh, somewhere. So I wrote this thing, uh, and, and, and ever since I put in praise of naked women uh, out, out there in, in my own body of work, uh, every day... I, I get all of this Doomer shit, like 12 Doomer articles, and then, like, every fucking day, I, I get all, all of this uh, dating stuff. Uh, oh, and then I did the, the Dead Planet Singles uh, one. And so, anyway, I somehow I, I've gotten on the algorithm at medium.com that I want to read about all of these uh, the goddamn dating uh, advice things and, 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 you know, how to meet women and, and, and all of this shit. And, and I'm going, oh, what the fuck? The vast majority of it is, is for, you know, youngsters. Uh, very little of it, obviously, is for old farts like me. So for whatever reason, I clicked on this thing Basically, this long article citing all of these studies, and, and, and basically what they were investigating in this article is why young males, we're talking uh, 18 to uh, 18 to 30 year olds, but particularly 18 to 24 year old males are just n not having sex anymore. That uh, and, and I've been hearing this the, the, this idea of being bad and around. Why aren't uh, young males getting pussy anymore? It, it is the main thing they were looking at, and, and I'll and I'll come back to this in, in a moment. So that they weren't talking about old people. But, so, I, you know, it, it has all of these studies and all of these fucking charts and graphs. And, 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 and this one that it shows, you know, it, it has it broken down into all of these age groups. And this was, what it was, was people who identify themselves as single. And I, I don't know the sample size and all of this shit. And, and single, not not in a in a marital status way, but uh, 
basically by single meaning not in some sort of uh, some sort of long term you know solid relationship presumably a a solid long term monogamous relationship and while they're while they're looking at the people under 30 I just I just glanced ahead and it claimed that 25% of men age 65 and older, which is, of course, the oldest age group, 65 and older, that 25% of men uh, identified as single men, meaning available for a relationship uh, with, with a woman, and this was looking at heterosexuals, so I don't know if this would be the same. And I'm looking at that, so, I, so I'm saying, that, and, and so what you're trying to fucking tell me in, in, in this bullshit study, uh, th that's another way of saying that, uh, that 75% of men 65 and over are not single. That they're either, you know, officially married or in, in, are in some sort of long-term committed relationship and they are not available uh, to, they're not in the market uh, l looking for love. 75% uh, of men 65 and older are, are, are taken. And, and I'm thinking this is the biggest unadulterated uh, fucking bunch of horseshit. But then, then I started thinking. Uh, both of my brothers are in their 70s. Uh, one of my brothers has been uh, married for over 50 years to the same woman. Uh, my other brother met his woman in 1992. So so they're over 30 years together. Uh, they're in their 70s. Now my sister's in her 70s, but her husband is my, so he's just getting ready to turn 65. They got married in 1986, so there's her 75%. So I, 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 uh, I, both of my brothers and my sister, and by default my brother-in-law, Every one of them over the age of 65, and of course my sister-in-law, so every one of them are 65 and older, are in these long-term uh, monogamous committed relationships uh, going on between 30 and over 50 fucking years. And here I am. The, 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 the fucking 25 percenter. So, I, I, I mean, looking at my own family, uh, I, I'm right in the percentage. So, I, I don't know. It's still, it, it, it still sounds like a bunch of shit to me. Does anybody out there believe for one minute that 75 percent of men, uh, 65 percent or over, are, uh, are, uh, in, in committed long-term relationships. Now, of course, you, you know, what wasn't what, what broken down is how many of that 75% are, are married to fat, ugly old bags, you know, who, who they haven't fucked in uh, 20 years. Now, if, if you stir in that number about, uh, you know, people my age who have been married uh, for 30 fucking years and, and, and uh, haven't seen their goddamn wife naked in 20 years and don't ever want to see the bitch naked again. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. Then I just looked at the women, and the women 65% are, are over. So if men are 25% single, what do you think the women are? 65 and older. It, it was like 40%. Like a shitload more women uh, are, are saying they are available uh, 
than than men. I'm, I'm assuming that uh, a, a lot of that has to do that the uh, that the old fart uh, that they're married to just keeled over and died uh, since women live longer. Uh, but anyway, I mean a big different percentage. Uh, Forty percent of women 65 or older are, are not in that they're basically alone. Uh, it, 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 anyway, the whole thing that the, the doesn't make uh, any sense to me. But then, but what the article was talking about was was youngsters, was basically 18 to 30 year olds, particularly men, even more than women. That what's happened if you looked at the same numbers from uh, 20 years ago uh, that the, 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 the number particularly of young males uh, that for whatever reason are not in a uh, <coughs> a some sort of committed relationship, be it marriage or whatever, long-term relationship, with a female, uh, for the 18 to 30s, it was, I, I think it was, was it like 32%, pretty much one third, one out of three men uh, age 18 to 30, uh, at least in, in, in this study, uh, were not uh, in relationships with women. And there, and, and so, the whoever it was writing this article, I can't remember. Uh, you know, and all of these, the, these people trying to figure out. And what's weird is that the number of young women identifying as single is a lot smaller than the, than the number of young men. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, there's the same amount. Of young, like, like, what the fuck is this about? How do you explain the disparity uh, between this and uh, like all they could figure is, is is that women under thirty are uh, uh, are in relationships with men over thirty, that it's the you know older guys are fucking younger women, uh, like it, 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 there was that mystery and. And I really like the one, a, a poll of young women, of young women, uh, the, the question was to these, to however many of these, these uh, I guess, 18 to 30 year olds uh, in, in that age bracket, how many of them would like to be approached more often by potential uh, soulmates. You know what I'm saying? How many, what percentage uh, of young women would like to be approached, was the word they used, approached by young men more often than they are being approached? And it was some huge number, like 78% uh, uh, of young women are, are complaining that, uh, that uh, young men are not approaching them. And, and, and so there's something going on, so they're, they're scratching their heads. So why are young men age 18 to 30 not approaching young women, uh, you know, trying to start a committed long-term relationship. You know, I, I got married when I was 23, and I had, I, I'm a serial monogamist, so I had already been in two relationships lasting two years or more 
before I got married at 23, just to give you some idea, that uh, I was 18 when I got into my first committed monogamous relationship with, with, with a girl. And, and this was like most of my buddies. And, and, and they're just throwing darts. And, and one of them they talked about was the incel movement that uh, a, a lot of young men are going in cell. Uh, and, and then one I liked, and, and I do agree with one, uh, one of them out there was, uh, was the Me Too movement. How apparently a, a small minority of women, I would say, looking at this graph where 78% of women want to be approached more than uh, by, by young men. What it sounds to me like is a very small minority uh, of mouthy feminist bitches have basically scared guys into approaching women. That you, uh, you, you know, you go and, uh, and, and you try to approach a, a woman and, and the next thing you know, she, she's flashing your fucking picture all over Facebook, uh, calling you a, you know, a scumbag, uh, potential rapist and, and all of this shit. Uh, that uh, y young men, uh, you know, reading all this Me Too crap. Uh, it, 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 it's one of the major fucking reasons that uh, young couples aren't getting together anymore. Uh, that these, all of these nice young men uh, thinking uh, that, you know, that you're interested in a woman and you want to ask her out and you ask a woman out for a date and she acts like you just fucking tried to rape her. And, and I don't know. I mean, they were throwing this out, and, and I don't. Uh, I, I I I don't deny that uh, a, a bit. But what was it, it, always in, in in all of these kind of stories? It's not so much what's said; it's what's not said. And so my comment at the end. I read every word of this fucking long ass story. You know, and the author is looking for input, and 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 my response, uh, it it was a woman, a, a female, some kind of shrink or whatever. Uh, my response is, lady, for you to write this long article on this subject without mentioning the word pornography, without ever mentioning the word pornography uh, uh, about the availability of pornography and not just the easy availability but the absolute normalizing of, of pornography. It, it's no longer uh, it, it's no longer taboo uh, to mention that you enjoy jerking off to porno. Uh, this is a, a, a great revolution. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, so porno has been completely normalized. Uh, and then as and part of that, as I mentioned in my comment, is this whole idea of OnlyFans. That uh, it's just a fuck of a lot easier and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, to go on fucking you porn, it is it, fucking free, and uh, and and so the you know one of the driving forces where young men want to meet, meet young women uh, and go through all of that fucking bullshit, uh, just just go on fucking you porn uh, for for free. And uh, ten minutes later, 
uh, call up your your buddies and, and head out with your fucking buddies for a beer. And you don't have to worry about going through all of this fucking horse shit. And, and so I, uh, that was kind of the comment I left. But of course what I was thinking uh, and did not say uh, is, is, is this. I kept going back to this. Uh, and, and what it was was a pie chart. You know, these round pie charts with this little slice of these 22% of women uh, who do not want to be approached by guys and the 78% of, uh, uh, of the, these young women who are, are, are whining that they're not getting approached by by guys and so either they have to do the approaching I, I guess or, or they go or, or they're getting plenty of approaches by men over 30 which is why you see this skewed difference between men and women and, and, and I'm thinking to myself and, and, and I really want to see these numbers I want to see what the BMI of females aged 18 to 30 is in 2024 compared to 20 years ago. And, and, and uh, I think you will find the reason uh, that a shitload uh, of this 78% of young women are not getting approached uh, by young men anymore it, it, it is because they're fat-assed heifers with goddamn BMIs uh, uh, a lot bigger than their ages. Uh, I, you know, I, I remember a, a, a couple of years ago, my buddy and I, uh, where we were, we went over to Daytona. He and I just went over to Daytona for the weekend and uh, we go to this tiki bar, a, a damn tiki bar for these, for, where all of the youngsters, uh, you, you know, hang out. So uh, us two greasy old farts, we go in there, and we're just looking around. At, I mean, it was the kind of place that we would have gone when we were young guys, uh, and, and 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 this was two or three years ago at a tiki bar at Daytona Beach and we're, we're absolutely appalled at how fat the, 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 these young women were and the, and the guys look, you know, they still look like uh, nice looking young fellas and, and it, it's like table after table after table. Uh, it, it, it was, here was the guy, the the 22-year-old the guy w with a BMI of his age of 22 uh, and, 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 and next to him or at the table next to a, a group of guys were, the, were, were these just, you, you know, these damn heifers, the, 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 these fucking tubs of lard. And, and I remember... Looking at my buddy and uh, and and saying to my buddy, I, I I said, dude, I said I am so fucking glad that I am not part of this generation. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. I I, I said, could you imagine if if when we uh, were were the age of these young men, you know, back in when the let's say the 19, the, the 70s and the 80s, whatever, you, you know, when we were aged uh, 18 to 24 and stuff, and, 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 and uh, 80% of the fucking girls uh, look like this shit, uh, I, I would have had zero interest in, in, in approaching any of them. And uh, it's just, it's, it's these damn... Uh, young girls uh, ha have just let themselves go. 
uh, I, I'm talking 18 to 30 year old uh, females. Just like, why the fuck do you think any young man, uh, particularly, you know, any nice looking young man, uh, my BMI, I want to say, of course, I got married when I was 23, but uh, right now my BMI is 23 going into age 65. Uh, and anybody uh, who is so mystified by 78% of, 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 of young women, if you're a young woman, uh, wondering why uh, you're not getting approached uh, by more uh, quote uh, you know uh, it sounds like uh, 67 percent of young men are, are available and if you're wondering well, why, why won't any of these 67 percent of young men approach me uh, look in the fucking mirror you, you, you fucking fat bitch you, you know uh, I, I really am glad, uh, you know, my, my damn wife, uh, my late, my literal late great, uh, dear sweet, uh, wife, uh, she weighed 88 pounds on, uh, her wedding day, uh, well, she was four foot ten. Four foot ten and 88 pounds is, is, is what that girl weighed on our wedding day, uh, Anyway, I'm just rambling, but uh, thank God, thank God, uh, it, at least uh, back in the, when I was in that pool, uh, I wasn't dealing with this shit. Uh, you know, if, if, if it had been a common, if, if I was a young man today, and looking at all of these fat, ugly heifers uh, and, and going out there, uh, spending all of this damn money and, and all of this shit, going out uh, with, with these girls uh, or being able to go on uh, U-Porn, which was not available to me uh, back then, uh, I would be one of the 67% uh, of uh, available guys. Uh... Uh, I hate to be so brutally honest, but uh, most guys are, are going to choose jerking off to a beautiful, uh, healthy-looking uh, young woman uh, than, than they are uh, pursuing some fat, ugly heifer. It, 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 it's just that simple. I've made the comment before. Uh, seriously, one of the main reasons that I go on YouPorn, uh, literally one of the main reasons is simply to see a, a, a naked woman the way I remember what a good-looking young naked woman was supposed to look like. Anyway, uh, I don't know how long I've been talking to myself. This battery probably crashed 15 minutes ago. But uh, that is that. It is a big Saturday night. Maybe it's time to uh, go on to YouPorn to try to vaguely remember what a 22-year-old uh, a, a, a female with a BMI her of her own age looked like. Ugh, fuck. Saturday night. Here I come. Well, the young lovebirds. I would say this girl she is, uh, I would say she's 25 years old, has a BMI of 19. 
I would say she and her husband are both 25 years old with BMIs of 19. Uh, and you, you know, they're physically active, they're mountain bike riders and hikers and all of this stuff. Uh, and clearly, uh, this attractive uh, y young woman uh, was approached by a very nice looking young man and uh, they seem to be very much in love and happily married. I wonder if, if she uh, had a BMI of 39 instead of 19, would she be married to that nice looking young man or not? My guess is no, she wouldn't. He would have no fucking interest in her. Zero. Anyway. I to be young and in love again. That's, there's no chance of it ever happening again. Get out there and enjoy being approached by nice looking young men while you still can. Oh my guys. Is this battery even on? Don't believe it. Uh, what do you think, little dog? You don't have any problem approaching beautiful young women, do you?